You know, when it comes to ice fishing electronics, it's hard to beat the Markham LX7. You know, there's a reason why I use this unit, and it's right there. That graph mode on there has a recorded history, so you can see exactly what's going on there. For example, if I have a fish that's coming into the cone, I can see that it goes from green to red. It's painted right on there. If I jig, just like that, boom, I, you can see it's in simulator mode, I'm catching a fish. But you can see everything that's taking place on the screen. That's a very powerful tool when it comes to catching fish. Reason being is, I look at every fish on a case-by-case -case basis. If the fish power up really hard and they're aggressive, I can see that on the screen because that graph shows me that that takes place. That's something that you just don't get on a conventional flasher. That's something you don't get unless you look at a Markham. Uh, you couple that with a lot of the interference rejection settings that Markham has, and then also just the way it's set up for ice anglers, it's the ultimate tool. And I tell you what, if you do like running it in flasher mode, this thing will run in flasher mode as well. But for me, it's always been that graph mode because of that recorded history. I can see exactly what's going on, exactly the mode of the fish. And I tell you what, if you've never tried a digital sonar unit on ice, as soon as you run it in graph mode, not only are you going to start catching more fish and picking up on the subtle cues, you're going to have a lot of fun doing it.